Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Max Warframe. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest weapon offering from Barra Control, I mean Katia, the Void Trader, the Prisma Scanner. Now the Prisma Scanner can be currently picked up from the Void Trader on the Pluto Relay for 510 Ducats and 175,000 credits. But is it actually worth it? Well the majority of the base stats are exactly the same as the standard Scanner. 35.1 total damage split between 24.5 slash and 5.3 each in impact and uh, puncture, which is on the low end of the sword based weapons. It also shares the standard Scanner's pretty mediocre 10% status chance. But quite frankly, that's where the similarities end. The Prisma Scanner actually gets a pretty sizable upgrade in a couple of areas. Firstly, the attack speed gets a decent upgrade from 0.83 to 1 attack per second. In addition to that, the Prisma gets a vastly higher critical chance of 20% compared to the original weapon's 5%, which means that when you combine it with Berserker, and the fact that the attack speed is already higher, it means that you get some pretty decent attack speed with all, well, when you take all those into account. All of that combines very nicely with the fact that in addition to all of that, the Prisma gets an increase from its rather pathetic 150% crit damage to a more respectable 200%. And it means that the crit damage actually can be pretty decent. And the good points don't really stop there either. Like the Skarner and the Skarner Prime, the Prisma Skarner can also use the new Loka Syndicate mod Bright Purity to further increase the damage output of this weapon while adding to the purity effect. In fact, the only bad thing I can think of to say about the Prisma Skarner is something the original Skarner uh, suffers from, and that is, to be honest, the fairly low base damage. However, with the ability to build the crit, Plus the Syndicate mod, this weapon really has very little downsides to it. Now in terms of stance mods, there is really only one choice for the sword weapons like the Prisma Scarner, and that is Crimson Dervish. Combos like Crism uh, Crimson Orbit, which has a 3 hit combo that does 300% damage on every hit, or Coiling Impale, which is the same 3 hit combo with the 300% damage of Strike, plus an Impaling move at the end of the combo, means that the damage potential of this start is absolutely off the chart and has no equal. Iron Phoenix gets absolutely nowhere near this at all. Now the thing about Crimson Dervish is that it actually slows a weapon down. But so far, and I've not seen enough people really make enough of this, the Prisma Scanner is really the first sword that can realistically take advantage of Berserker, which might take a few hits to actually get into the groove of things, but once you do, it really boosts the attack speed and thus damage output. So while the Dacra Prime might have nearly double the base damage, the Prisma Scanner is hitting so much more quickly, they're actually a lot closer than you might think, especially when you take into the 100% melee damage from Bright Purity as well. Did the upgrade really take the Prisma Scanner into one of the top swords, if not one of the top melee weapons? Okay, so let's move on to starting to mod the Prisma Scanner. Now, it doesn't come with any polarities as standard. It does have a V for the stance slot, but that's about it. So we're going to add two formats to the weapon, which is going to be a V and a dash. Now, in terms of modding, we've got a whole bunch of mods that are remaining the same between all three of the builds. Crimson Dervish is our stance. We've got Pressure Point for melee damage. Berserker, which is going to give us extra attack speed. And that's going to work together with True Steel. Um, so True Steel is going to make a crit more, which means the Berserker is going to proc more often, which means it's going to be faster. And we've got Organ Shatter, which is going to also increase the crit damage. We've got Bright Purity on there, which is going to add 100% melee damage, as well as the Purity effect. And we've also got Life Strike on here as well for that Life Steal when you channel. Now, I use a Max Rank Life Strike. I've had quite a few comments on this already. The reason I use a Max Rank Life Strike is because a lot of the frames I use are very energy heavy, which means that I only really want to be channeling very, very you know very rarely i want to just hit that channel once get all my health back and go from there really now in terms of the grenier build we're going to go with molten impact and shocking touch for radiation so we're going to um, mod for the really heavy units for the corpus we're going to go north wind and shocking touch for magnetic damage against the shields and in the void fever strike and shocking touch which is corrosive now, I know I'm going to get quite a lot of comments about how I don't need all this former. Now, the reason for that is there's a whole bunch of mods that you could put on that are completely personal preference. Instead of Life Strike, you could go with Sprawled Strike if you wanted to, which I know still doesn't need the um, 
it still doesn't need that extra former. However, if you wanted to, you could also change that out for another damage mod, in which you do need that extra um, former. Or even, if you wanted to, you could switch these out, and you could go with Primed Reach, which is another option. I don't pers I personally don't go for the Prime Reach. I have spoken to quite a few people that have. Um, it's personal preference. It's one of those things that you either like it or you don't. I personally prefer this build with the Life Strike because I'm using it a lot to try and keep my frames alive. However, if I was going to use anything else, I mean, I could change that out for, like I say, for Sword Strike or I could put the other Elemental in there. Either way works fine. It's about tailoring the weapon to to how you want it to be worked, in all honesty. So do I think it's worth picking up? And the answer to that is absolutely yes it is. At the end of the day, it takes an awful lot for me to get excited about a melee weapon. I'm not much of a melee user. In fact, I go so far as to say that currently, I don't really like melee very much at all. But the thing is that the Skana is so iconic to Warframe. It's the first melee weapon. The weapon on every single poster of Excal ever. But the Skana has always been a fairly weak melee. It really drops off so quickly, the original weapon, no matter what you do with it. But now you have the Prisma, which looks absolutely incredible. The void energy swirling and moving around with the blade. Hats off to the design team on that, it looks so good. But it's also now got a spot in the game. There are no other swords that can take advantage of Berserker realistically. And then when you take into account the advantages of Crimson Dervish from the stance and the damage from that, plus the base speed increase, then the use of Bright Purity, then the use of, well, like I say, Berserker, you have a weapon that quickly turns from being quite tame into being a fast-hitting monster that hits like an absolute truck. The reason this video has taken a lot longer than normal to make and get out is that I've been addicted to playing with this weapon, the Prisma Skana, and having an absolute blast with it. It's absolutely amazing, and I don't often say this, but I would get it right away. Ignore the fact that it's time limited only, it's absolutely worth picking up right now. The mods to max it are cheap, especially if you can get your hands on the Syndicate mod pretty easily. The rest are fairly easy to get hold of, plus with only a couple of format it can be maxed very quickly, very easily. And then you can just start having insane fun with it. It's absolutely worth it. Don't miss out and don't write Barrow off just yet. He's redeemed himself this time. In terms of alternative mods, I've had people tell me that they use Prime Reach on this, and while I personally don't think it's worth it, it's one of those personal preference mods along with Life Strike. You could change that out for Spool Strike for more damage if you wanted, or you could even change that for the Prime Reach. I like the extra survivability from the Life Strike, but like I say, that is absolutely personal preference. So in effect, hard hitting due to the stance, due to bright purity, due to berserker, the Prisma Skana might look like a minor upgrade on paper, but when you look deeper, this thing is a monster. As always guys, many thanks for watching, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, it helps me out a ton, and I shall see you in the next episode original. Well, you get an additional 3 damage a shot, taking up to 30, with the majority coming in the form of impact with 13.5, 9 in puncture, and 7.5 in slash. In addition to that, you get double the crit chance at 5% compared to 2.5%.